All right, Jake, uh, here's Coach Santiago. Just taking a look at our swings here from last week. And uh, so let's talk about first our setup, okay? Um, not a bad setup. I do like the fact that you're here at a 45-degree angle. You know, you're working here. you got good head clearance, all right? I like the fact that your feet are pointed straight here. Uh, like like what we're doing there really well. Let's see how we progress forward. Good athletic dynamic movement. I really like the fact that if you notice here, our hands are working in this direction and our front leg and front hip are working in that direction. One of the terms you're going to hear me say a lot about is stretching the rubber band. This is what, the, this, this is what stretching the rubber band means. We're actually having two body parts working away from each other, creating that separation, which creates a dynamic body position and, alt and ultimately creates torque. So now let's talk about some issues here. A, notice how your front foot kind of opens up here. Okay, and, and, and it's obviously all very well connected here. If my front foot opens up, my front knee opens up, my front hip opens up, my front shoulder opens up. All this activity carries uh, momentum and center of gravity and everything off the baseball in this direction. Okay, so I would like to see you keep that foot a little bit more closed and landing. Now actually we start the swing. Not a bad job, pretty short hand path. Look at, you, know, you take a pretty direct path to the baseball and your hands come through right here, okay? Not bad. What I do uh, think we need to address moving forward is notice how at contact we begin to fall backwards, okay? So I always kind of give somebody an analogy of throwing a punch, right? If this was just a right cross you were going to throw at a punching bag, okay, you would not hit that bag and then fall back, okay? You would want to punch that bag and continue accelerating and this shoulder and this hip and this knee would continue moving forward. But as you see, you're falling backwards here, okay? And notice that back heel, that back heel should really be to the sky and again with a little bit more closure on that front side. So, um, you know, not anything really, really overly, um, you know, uncorrectable here. Definitely going to have to take some reps and get your body used to, you know, accelerating through the baseball. I would say right here by looking at this video that you're actually decelerating at contact instead of accelerating, okay? And a little bit like your brother, you are kind of rolling off the baseball here just a little bit after contact, but again, that could be predisposed by leaning back at contact as we've talked about before, okay? So again, fixable stuff, we'll definitely address this uh, in our work together, but I just want to kind of have you look at it from the side.